This is your coastal waters forecast for southwest Alaska, Bristol Bay, the Alaska Peninsula waters, and the Aleutian Islands up to 100 nautical miles out. Back in, I think it was 1978, I was playing billiards with a guy in a waterfront bar in Seattle. And he had a pocket full of $100 bills. And I asked him, I said, are you a criminal? And he said, no, I'm a crab fisherman. I'm Captain Bill Wichorowski. I'm originally from Western Pennsylvania. We're currently in Dutch Harbor, Alaska. I think the, the misconception that people get watching the show is it's so exciting to crab fish all the time because the show shows absolute highs and absolute lows. They don't show the everything in the middle that goes on for days, hours and hours, days and days, that continual hauling of the gear. Because who wants to see that? This job teaches you a lot about yourself. It makes you, pushes you further than you've ever been. It gives you a whole different outlook on life. It, it teaches you that you can do more than you ever thought possible. I mean, we would go literally three or four days and not get out of our gear. I mean, through abrasion and sharp edges and cuts and tears, I mean, we lived in this stuff. And that's where the trust came for it because we were fishing eight, nine months a year then. Now the, the gear on deck is like any high-tech sport. It has to be the best of the best. You know, you, you gotta be comfortable, you gotta be warm, you gotta be dry. It's the same thing out here but it's tenfold. Our elements are way worse than anything you're gonna do in a recreational event, but still they're the same elements. And for me, over the years, I've kind of transitioned from being on deck to maybe being in a wheelhouse where I still want the comfort of being dry, but I'm not in the, the rough and tumble situation. In sport fishing, it's the same thing. When I'm not on the boat, commercial fishing, I'm usually fishing. I go Panama, Guatemala, I worked out of Costa Rica for years, I've had a home in Mexico for 40 some years, I'm always on the Gulf Coast, I'm always on the Mid-Atlantic, I mean that's what I do, I sport fish when I'm not commercial fishing. As time went on, things evolved where it, we realized you had to have flexibility, maneuverability, you had to dissipate the moisture and the heat, but you had to stay dry. And that's kind of where the idea came from to me that, you know, you've you protected us for years in Alaska in the, the cold green water and the worst conditions. You got lousy weather in sport fishing too, you know, even if it's just the spray of a, a boat with four 450s on the back going 75 miles an hour, you got to have some protection. You got to have lightweight, breathable, tactical clothing that adapt to that condition. 